Well guys, I figured we'd work on this 430 today. Last time we used it, we were snow blown and the front tire peeled off the rim. And it's been sitting here just like this for three months or however it's long it's been since that day. And this back tire here is uh, looking really sweet with all these cracks, but it's still holding air. I actually want to put a mower deck on it and mow some grass with it. So, we're going to jack up the front and take off that wheel and put a tube in there. See if we can get her back in business, guys. Well, I got the wheel off the machine. It's totally dismounted from the tube. I pulled the valve stem out. I got one of these sweet Amazon tubes here. And uh, I'm going to see if I can sneak the tube in here without using the tire machine and flipping the bead over the rim here maybe i can just stuff it in there because everything is so loose and uh might save me a little hassle I'll give it a shot all right i had to pop the tire off to stuff the tube in so the tread on this tire looks excellent problem is that it's all cracked all the way around the edge here and it must have a leak through there somewhere but really frustrating i've barely driven this tractor at all like it literally probably has a few hours on it only but uh these d stones made in thailand did not hold up anyways we stuff the tube in We're diversifying our gravely source of origin we got thailand and korea for the tube so let's see if we can get these suckers going Okay, let's see if we can fill it up without it being popped. I hear a leak, I think. Maybe not. I think we might have got it, guys. Put a little more air in. I got that thing really inflated. All right, so I got the wheel on, checked the oil. We got some gas. I took the tarp off. The next question is, is the battery dead? I can't remember if the choke cable works. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. I don't think the choke works. Let me go back here and check. I smell gas. Yeah, choke's not working. Let me put that on by hand. And now let's see what happens. This tractor runs so awesome. It's amazing. This snowblower has been on here for five years and it hasn't come off. And in those five years, I've blown snow, I think, three times. So we're going to put a mower deck on it, a 50 inch, and we're going to cut some grass with this thing and put it to use and have some fun with the old yellow 430. We're going to take the chains off. We're going to take the PTO drive shaft off. We're going to borrow a mower deck from the 432 drive shaft off and I got the what I'll call flag off for the attachments and uh, now we're gonna see if we can get that mower deck off the 432 pull these chains off real quick score all right here's the shameful 432 next to the red 430 with an 812 hood anyways there's something wrong with the motor in this thing it's been parked a couple years and we gotta get this deck off of it so you see how we can do that. 
Ideally, I'd pull it over to the driveway, but I don't have that kind of energy, so we're gonna drop it right here. And uh, just gotta pull the two pins in the front, the drive shaft and the lift rod, and it should slide right out. Well, I got it out. <laughs> that was hard. What I should do is put it in the Dutes Alice bucket and bring it to the driveway. You know, that'd be smart. Don't grease it all up, and we'll put it on the 430. Well, the Dutes is uh, working good, man. Got 14 volts on the charging system like we should. And uh, move that deck like a champ. Let's go check out the deck. All right, ran some grease in the drive shaft. They're going to go underneath the deck. I think this deck had no baffle in it, if I remember right. Yeah, it's got no baffle. A little rusty, but there's no holes in it. If we go out there and start mowing, it's going to knock all that junk off of it um yeah let's just grease up these spindles here and uh we will try to mow nice all right we got the bolts loose on the gearbox here let's see that's not so bad i'm going to put some more grease in there though we'll just top it off and uh put the cover back on this thing isn't a beautiful mower or nothing it's an old rust bucket a lot of guys would take that grease out, but the grease actually looks good to me. I got a tube of grease that I stepped on by accident and I broke it. So I'm gonna scoop it out of there and put it in that thing. Let's see, this thing I stepped on it in the garage and I busted it. Let me see if I can just kind of like squeeze it out. There we go. There you go, I knew that stuff would come in handy one day. I hate grease, man. I hate grease. Just smear that crap in there. Get some more in there on the top. Oh yeah, perfect. Look at that, all lubed up, beautiful. Look at that sucker. There we go, now we're talking. Sweet. Well, we got the mower deck uh, all installed here. Let's see if we can cut some grass. I just got done mowing the front lawn and they're smoking like crazy out of the K301. I'm guessing that there's some grass clippings in there on fire or something. We're just gonna blow it out with the leaf blower for good measure. Just mowing with the John Deere 214. All of a sudden it stopped cutting, blew the deck belt. Things shot ski. Dude, that stinks. And then the stupid seat, the bottom of the seat pan rusted through. And this side's not even attached, so I'm gonna have to weld a piece on there to put a new bolt in. What the heck? I had to go back to the 430 since the John Deere broke. I mowed the whole lawn with it, almost an acre and a half. And I wasn't sure that it would actually run that long.
I mowed the whole lawn with the 430, except for about a dozen passes until the John Deere belt broke. Some kind of problem with it, it's really down on power. I'm guessing the carb bowl is full of ethanol, um, or I got a problem with the governor, or I have a problem with the stupid plumber's exhaust that's on here, or someone put a pretty small muffler on there. It might be stealing the power, but I really think the carb bowl is full of ethanol goo. It runs like a rocket ship when it's under no load, but the minute it gets into some tall grass, it really bogs down and it's got zero power whatsoever. So we'll have to investigate it. But mowed all this grass back here with it. It uh, <laughs> did pretty well for a 50 year old machine that hasn't run this much in years. So I'm happy with it. Guys, stay tuned for more. We got more projects coming up, more Gravelys to fix, more parts to buy, more grass to mow engines to work on all kinds of fun stuff coming up this summer so hopefully we'll have some more videos out make sure you subscribe